Before we get started with this review, let me tell you a few things. This channel tends to have more negativity about a product than most other channels because I want you to be well informed. Because if you purchase from my affiliate links down below, I want you to know what you're getting, including the negatives. And in this video, I show you how to set this up. So I'd consider this like a diamond. Looks really nice, but covered in cow dung because the initial setup ain't so nice. And there's a couple little flaws in the software. But once you know how to use this, which I show you how to do, it is a lot better situation. Now, let's get started. Hello, this is Eric of Not Bios Tech and Reviews, and today I'm reviewing the Thermal Take Swafan EX12 RGB. And this is magnetic and can clip together. Here are some specifications for your reading pleasure. Now let's see what's in the box. In the package, we have three of these reverse fans. That means air can blow this way rather than your usual. We have a little pin for the fan hub at the back end. And we also have three of these fans because this is a triple pack. And the coolest part that I like the most about this is you see these pins right here. I take the opposite end with contacts that we see right here. And just like that. Wow. That is so far my favorite aspect of this fan. So I can actually have three different case fans blowing into the case, reverse it and have it blowing out this way. We have an extremely long cable. This is 38 inches or 89 centimeters. Now, if you have an idea of what that is, we are talking about three feet and a tiny bit more end to end. Pretty darn long. And again, how you're gonna connect this is to the pins that are sticking out. And this is magnetic. If you connect it the wrong way, it just won't connect. We see it's going around those pins instead of on. So you have to flip it and then it goes right to the pins as we see right here. Our thermal tank hub with all these connection ports. And of course we don't have to utilize them all. I can connect all three fans to one single port and that's pretty sweet to have. We also have dip switches on the back. We have another magnetic connection because there's three different ones. We can connect them all different ports. And we also have oil to lube the bearings. Here's the screws, big ones and small ones for different mounting options. And inside one of these bags is our Velcro, which I thought was missing. In this other packaging as well, we have micro USB with a different connection. And we have an old type of Molex connection to another power connector. The one is like a floppy connector, floppy drive connector from the old days. And this one's a Molex. This was pretty much phased out with serial ATA 15 years ago. No joke, 30 years ago, you would get the same Molex connector in your computer 30 years ago. Phased out by serial ATA right there. This is a serial ATA connector. This happens to be female type. You have to special order these things most time because they're so uncommon for people to need those cables. If I can get these parts easily on Amazon, then what's the point of even worrying about this? The point is you go out and order these new fans, brand new fans, and if your computer is brand new, you can't connect them. You have to order something else once you paid some hundred dollars for these freaking fans. Anyways, once you do that, we're good to go. More micro USB connectors and I believe USB connection to the motherboard. The fans I'm using with my computer right now that are right there are these Be Quiet Lightwing fans. And these have a lot of wires and also has a hub. And I'll leave a link in the description below to the playlist for RGB. So if you're wondering about these strips, running about these strips, running about the light bars behind my computer screen or my computer desk RGB or oh, the light washer bars I don't have a view of, but yeah, 
lots of RGB in this place. So if you want to learn about RGB and what fans get, hear the fan noise on this video. So we're going to get this connected and we're going to try 500 RPM, 1000 RPM, and basically max RPM to test fan noise. Now let's get it installed. Now in the package, you might have noticed there's some long screws. They simply go through your case normally and thread through the other side, but we don't have any nuts included with this, so I guess it depends on the case. Maybe Thermal Take builds a case that you can thread through. This particular case, no. I have to use the regular, regular fan screws, like this type of screw right here included in the package. Next, what I want to do is line up the fans inside this particular situation. The one fun thing about installing this and it being magnetically connected, I have to leave these touching. That means I have to be careful about alignment. So I keep these kind of loose so I can adjust it to make sure it's going to be powered before I do anything else. So I'm going to put two screws in here and two screws here so I have everything working before I put the final screws into place. Being that this is a first time install, I'm going to leave this outside of the case to test before I do anything else. And we can see there's one, two, three, four, but there's five different headers for connections. Now, what I believe is going to happen is that five is always going to be powered on. And if I want to power on one for control on the fan, I have to put one to on. So. This, I believe, is how it's going to work. And if I want one and three on, I'm going to select one and three to on. This is purely my assumption right now before I do anything else. And being you have to connect this to your motherboard, it means you might have to look up your motherboard manual in order to find the ports to connect to. Just like on my motherboard, I'm going to have to actually remove my GPU in order to connect these fans. Here's the download page with the software for our particular RGB fans. This is the TT RGB Plus software. This particular one is version 2.1.2. I'm going to download this by clicking here. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to make it simple. Now when it comes to installing these fans, one of the first thing it suggests by instructions is to install this. The magnet here. And this part goes to your hub. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect USB, micro USB power. Now you'll notice that there are two sides, this, two connectors. If you have another hub, you're going to power it through this other splitter to the other hub. So what are we missing? We are missing the floppy type drive connector. And there we go. Once you have everything set up, you have to choose the right fan. Right here and right here are labeled exactly the same. Both Swafan EX RGB. If I select this, if I go to the next page, lighting, let's save changes, there's one fan here. We're not only controlling one fan, so I have to go back and choose my three pack. That'll be the next one over. I'm going to select it here and we can see three different lines here. You want to get rid of one because we have two fans. Now I want to save this. Now I'm going to go to lighting. And when I choose my lighting, I have to select all. If I don't select it, it's not going to change. Right now I have these fans set to silent mode. Let's listen how they sound at 600 RPM. Okay, now turn your volume back down. And now let's crank up the fans to full speed and listen to how crazy this is going to be. Right now we are at full speed. Let's have a listen. Okay, 
full speed, 2000 to 2020 RPM or so. I now have the fans at 1039 RPM about averaging. Let's have a listen to the fans. Hey. And as a side note, on the fractal torrent with the front face of this case on, here's how it looks. Let's start things off with Blink and we're going to go through the different settings. Let's have some music playing and I will specify as I go through which setting I'm on. This is Flow. Now we are viewing Pulse. This is Raindrops. Scan. Now this is Plain Jane called Static. Now let's go to Wave. This is Wave. This is Cross. Heartbeat. Radar. RGB spectrum. Stack. And it's just simply going to add up till it basically fills up one at a time. Now let's go to swirl. And this is swirl. And let's go to weather. I have no clue what it's doing, but it actually uses your location weather to affect the fan color. Do you know what it says? I don't, but it looks really cool. That's temp. Aurora. That's what we're seeing right now. Black hole. And shooting star. And let's try twinkle. This is twinkle. Funky looking stuff. And right now I'm customizing the color. I'm just gonna click it. Let's try it all blue for the fun of it. Once I get this last thing clicked on and see how that looks. 
One thing the software does have is difference in speed, so it can change how fast this goes. Now the RGB will be really fast. And of course, how it was before, mind you, was the slowest speed. It suggests you use a little bit of oil inside the hub right here. So let's do that. And time to put the reverse fan blade on. Just like that. Now the air will blow this way. Pretty cool that we can do that just like so. I'm going to take this off and put the original one on. It sticks really hard, that's for sure. But at least it's not going to fall off. And go back to our original fan. And you hear that nice little definitive click in. And there we go. And what I'm going to show you here right away is this is going to be connected to hub channel 5, which technically is always powered on. There is no dip switch, turn it off. And then I have number 1 selected. So I'm going to show that in a minute. One thing you should note is that without the hub, you can't use this. It's all proprietary software. Now, what if you don't want to use special software and you just want to use your motherboard and you know how to use your BIOS? You could just get the Be Quiet Lightwings ARGB fans as long as you have an ARGB three pin header on your motherboard. Here's the light wings. This is the part that lights up around here. And the other advantage, of course, this goes directly to your ARGB to your fan header. This will work on your system that doesn't have RGB headers already. This particular one's connected to hub number five, and these two are connected to number one, which I turned on. And the cool thing is I can control them separately. Both of these ones are on a different program. So it's kind of cool that we can customize each one that way. And one thing we'll notice too is that this one's not bad. But a couple of these hubs, like the bottom one, those that are driven crazy by something that's not fully balanced might be driven crazy by this looking kind of wobbly. This one seems to be a bit better. But note, it's a bit of a chance. So one might be perfect and one might be a little wobbly looking. I generally didn't notice until I went looking because I've seen some people comment on certain fans and that being something that really bugs them. That's how it looks on the back side and back to the front. This is connected to the hub right now and I did this separately. So when I set this up, this fan didn't start turning, the RGB lights didn't go on until I disconnected once again and reconnected it. So just know that once you set up in software, you may have to disconnect and reconnect then it should be recognized and work like normal. So cool. I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. Having Molex was the dumbest idea that Thermal Take could have done because Molex is not a current standard and most power supplies don't have it. So you'll get your shiny new fans and you'd be like, I can't power this because the power supply of my computer doesn't come with that. This Flex power supply does not come with Molex. It's been replaced with serial ATX for like the last 15 years. In fact, I can't even find Molex in a computer store for purchase. Everything's special order. This is Eric of Not BIOS Tech Reviews. Thanks for watching. Have any questions? Leave them below because I can't answer your questions if you don't ask them. If there's something you want to know, well, ask and I can answer it with this case. And don't forget to subscribe to NutBouse to see more. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. And links to the review of this case once done, I'll leave in the description pinned in the comments.